So next topic of discussion, conversions. And what we mean by conversions, it means we're converting from one unit to another. So when we convert from various units, we use a method that um, I call multiplications by one, or more accurately, multiplication by equivalent fractions. So essentially what you are doing is you're not affecting the actual value because you're effectively multiplying by one all along, but you are converting the units. The best way to, to um, explain the procedure is just to do an example. So let's take a look at this. We want to, let's convert 72 kilometers per hour and we want to convert it into meters per second. So what this implies is that we need to convert the kilometer bits into meters and the hour bits into seconds. So here's how we set it up. So the first thing we do is we take the unit kilometers per hour and we set it up as a fraction. So we have the 70, 72 out front and we have kilometers per hour. So the first thing we're going to focus on is we're going to either focus on changing the kilometers to meters or we could start with the hours. So the kilometers are located in the numerator. Well, what we know is that we know that there's a thousand meters per kilometer. So in this equivalent fraction here, since the kilometers are in the numerator up here, the kilometers must be in the denominator down here. So we have the relationship of 1000 meters over one kilometer. And of course we eliminate the kilometers. So now we have meters, that's all good. The next thing we need to deal with are the hours. So let's take a look. The hours are located on the denominator and we want to go from hours to seconds. Now, we know there are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour, but it's so common to go from hours to seconds that we just take those two 60s and multiply them together. So we know that one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds, and that's just 60 times 60. So now we can cancel out the hours, and then, as you can see, we did this down here, um, then what we do is then we clean up the fraction. So the 72 is technically in the numerator. So that's 72 times 100 times 1 over 3600 uh, times 1 of the denominator. And the only units that are left, you can see, are the meters and the seconds. And then when we do all the math, we get 20 meters per second. Now, here's the key. We have a tilde. And the reason why we have a tilde is because the 72 has two sig figs. So the final answer also has to have two sig figs, which means that that zero must be made significant and therefore we add the tilde to it. So that's a fairly straightforward technique, but things get a little bit more complex when we have to do square units. So the next one is we want to do 25 centimeters squared per second to meters squared per day. So it looks a little bit more complex, but it's not that difficult to do. But the problem is this. We know the relationship between centimeters and meters. What we don't know is the actual relationship between centimeters squared and meters squared. They're, they're, they're actually slightly different. And here's how we, how we address that issue. So we know that 100 centimeters is equal to one meter, but we need those units to be squared. So we literally just square everything. So we've got 100 squared centimeters squared times one squared meters squared. So that's all well and good. The question is, why does this work? Well, here is the reason why. So we're gonna make a rectangle. And what we're gonna do with this rectangle is we're gonna assume that this rectangle is one meter by one meter, all right? So we know that the area, well, this is a square technically, so the area is just gonna to equal to the length times the width. So the area of this is one meter times one meter. And that gives me an area of one squared meters squared. And again, because one times one technically is one squared. And yes, I do know that we could just reduce it down to one, but we're just trying to make a point. All right, so now, alternatively though, we could actually write the dimensions of this rectangle as 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. And we could do the same thing. So area is equal to length times width. So that's gonna be 100 centimeters times 100 centimeter. Well, if we do that, we can simplify this because 100 times 100 is the same as 100 squared. And centimeters times centimeter, that's centimeter squared. And since these are both calculating the same area because it's the same, it's the same square, just different units, therefore 
100 squared centimeter squared is equal to 1 squared meter squared. And that is how we got this relationship here. All right, so now let's apply it. So again, we want to go um, 25 centimeters squared per second to meter squared per day. So we do one step at a time. So first things first. So we have the 25.0 centimeters squared per second. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our conversion factor over here. So that gives us one squared meter, one squared meter squared over 100 squared centimeter squared. So that is our equivalent fraction. So those are equivalent. And then of course we can eliminate the squares. And then next step is we can then um, convert our seconds. Now in this case, I decided to take the extra step. That was unnecessary, but why not? So we know the seconds in the denominator. So over here for it to eliminate, we have to have the seconds in the numerator. So we know that 60 seconds is equal to one minute. And now we can cancel out the seconds. All right. Um, and then we have 60 minutes is equal to one hour. You get the minutes canceled out and then we clean this all up. So we end up getting 25 times one squared times 60 times 60 meters squared over 100 squared times one times one. And then that reduces down to 9.00 meters squared per hour. And it's fairly straightforward. But again, you have to remember since this started off with three sig figs, the final answer has to have three sig figs. Now, we don't look at these things. See this one over 100, don't get confused. That this, this is actually is not a, a measured quantity. This is an, an exact number. One meter equals exactly 100 centimeters. So none of the conversion factors actually factor in our decision on sig figs. It always has to do with the original value. So since this value here was three sig figs, then we have to add these two zeros at the end to make this three sig figs using the weird rule, of course. So, um, and the same thing applies if we had cubed units. The only difference is instead of squaring things, we would cube them.